Good morning, everyone. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Guys, we went to the first one. It was a no-go. Uh, backyard was brown with uh, spritz of green. And, uh, well, we're at the next one. I figure I better get some footage for you before there's no footage to be gotten. And uh, we got the bad boy with us today. And we got the bad girl with us today. So, if you haven't checked her channel out, please do so. And she has got a bunch of new subscribers, right, babe? Yes, I do. So, uh, anyway, I have no idea what we're going to talk about today other than uh, just crying in my cereal because we got three yards to cut. But it's three yards that we didn't have if, you know, people didn't have irrigation and stuff. So... I'm blessed to have those three yards, and, uh, well, this is one of them. So, we're going to get some nice wheel marks for you, and uh, let's get to work. Hope you guys are having a blessed day, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Remember, always let your equipment warm up. I, uh, I think we're going to be aerating this one and the one across the street. I'm not sure, but uh, that will need done next week. So next week we'll get, I just called uh, the guy that's got the acre and a half with the big pole barn. I haven't cut his in three weeks. He said it's still bone dry. He said next week come out and just hit it just for the money. But, uh, man, I'll tell you. Trying, challenging times. What do they say about that? That builds character, right? I don't know. I think it builds a broke bank account. But uh, anyway, let's get this thing cut. Okay, so I don't have a shoot blocker, you all know that. So on the side over here, I take the uh, blower with me and then uh, once I get done cutting down that side, I go ahead and blow their driveway off because it's like right connected with it. So I'll show you that. All right. 
right, I'll take you guys back here and try to record some of this. Don't know how much I can show you. Oh, uh, that irrigation lid always pops off. But uh, anyway, let's get it. Let's get to it. Okay, boys and girls, she's all done. There's just some wheel marks. You saw them when I was cutting. Uh, it's actually nice to cut something where grass comes off of. This guy likes his cut every single week. I know I didn't cut much off in the back, as you saw, but it's what he wants. And when they want it, what happens, honey? You give it to them. That's right. Get it. You give it to them. So, hey. Let's go on to uh, number two. Who does number two work for? If you know what movie that's from, put it down below. And you never know what we might do. But right now we can't do nothing. So, <laughs> see you in a minute. Okay, guys. Um, we just found out that this is our last yard of the day. So, two today is all we get to do. I am going to film this one because this is uh, Sensei Lou's favorite yard uh, right there. And uh, it barely needs cut, but uh, we're going to cut it. Hasn't been cut in two weeks. And, uh, oh, wow, I told uh, my last customer, I said, look, if things get too bad, Sarah and I are going to uh, move to Springfield, Ohio, because at least then we get taken care of. We'll have something to eat. But... <laughs> What do you think of that, honey? Awful. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get on this. I got to get it trimmed first, and then I'll see you when I mow it. There it is, guys. That is the last Class A wheel marks you will see for the season. And Miss Sarah came up with the topic today, didn't you, dear? And I never thought about this, but you said... And we're going to start this next week on Monday. She said just go out and do all the yards you need to cut. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And... If you have to go out Thursday, go out. If not, just don't go out anymore for the week. Why not stay out and knock them all out and spend all day out and then just take the rest of the week off? 
And that is a smart cookie right there. Let me tell you, smart cookie. So next week, we're going to have three super full days of mowing. And hopefully Thursday, we'll have a couple more for you. If not, we'll figure something out to do for a video. But uh, consolidate your yards, guys. Save the money. Save the time. And don't go out every day. Just go out and get them all done, man. So Monday, I'll probably do 10 or 11. Tuesday, I'll try to do 13. Now, this is all predicated on what my leg will let me do, but that's how I'm going to do it. And uh, I'm sure other people are out there doing the same thing, but I know my people like to have things on a certain day, but you know what? Now, I am sure I cannot cut tomorrow's yards on Tuesday or Wednesday, so we'll do what we can. But other than that, that's how we're going to do it. And... Uh, the week after that is pay week, and man, it's looking grim. Today, today, our total income was 90 bucks. Hardly worth even getting out of bed for, but we thought we had four yards, and it quickly dwindled down to two. So I'm going to let Miss Sarah lead you out for a second, and then I'll see you in a minute. Miss Sarah, what do you think? Any, uh bright spots on the day oh yeah i see plenty of them <laughs> oh wow okay is that all you got to say um because i know as soon as i pull this away you're gonna say something i know i do it just to aggravate you <laughs> oh uh, there she goes as soon as you pull away i talk just don't interrupt your life. Yes, you do. Well, you're a beautiful interruption. I love you. Guys, we are going to go. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the bad boy mowing. And uh, I know, I know the first thing it's going to come out. Doc, why don't you get a side chute or a shoot blocker for that bad? We don't have the money. We're, <laughs> we're making 90 bucks a day. How are we going to buy a shoot blocker when we got bills to pay? Anyway, guys, we love you. God bless you. Somewhere in the video, there will be a Bible verse, and I hope you take it to heart. And as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.